Hey, this is B from Kong's Arrest, and today we're going to be reviewing an Ewin gaming chair that was sent to me from Stella over at Ewin Gaming, and uh, they have a lot of different gaming chairs that you can choose from from their website here. Uh, you can see that they have four different styles here, the Knight Series, Champion Series, the Calling Series, and the Flash XL. Tons of different price points for anybody, lots of different design choices as well for the different styles here. Today, what we're going to be looking at is the Flash XL Series chair, this one particularly this electric blue one is going to be the one that we're going to be taking a look at today. It's oversized, it's comfortable, it has a, a lumbar support and a headrest. Uh, I've been reviewing a couple of different chairs lately, recently in Anda seats as well as a secret lab chair. So uh, I was actually going to enlist the buddy of mine, Mr. Dan from Outrun Neon Sun, to help me out with this review. So let's check it out. Do you ever have problems with your back? Do you ever sit in chairs and wish that your butt didn't go numb? I have the chair for you. Because if you hear your back creaking at all, then sit back and watch this video because there is an amazing chair for you that will miraculously take away all of your anxiety. This chair is gonna add years to your life and it'll even make you better looking to the opposite sex, maybe. So watch this review. I wanna show you an E-Win chair that's pretty phenomenal. All right, so I got a new chair in the mail is actually not sent to me. It was actually sent to a buddy of mine uh, named B Kong. And B's like, I already got so many chairs because I'm so famous and cool. He's like, do you want this? And I was like, you know, because I'm such a famous YouTuber, Ewan should have sent it to me. Yes, of course I'll do an e-boxing. So join me as I unwrap this bad boy. I'm also gonna do something at the end. I think it'll be kind of fun. So stay tuned and let's get this thing built. Can we get to the good part? I know exactly what these gloves are for, and I'm definitely going to use them later. for when you're going really fast. All right, so now we're gonna put them together. Oh, they give you some extra hardware, which is actually really, really nice. And this was actually not that bad to put together. Not that fun. But uh, you can't complain about blessings, right? So we put it on top and it should be finished. What do you guys think? Pretty sweet. Right. So 
we got that down. That's pretty awesome. Oh man. All right guys, so what are my closing thoughts on this E-Win chair? Now, I gotta be honest with you, I don't have anything to compare it with B, I'm gonna need you to do that. But for me, it has the armrests that go up and down, and I like having high armrests. Some of the chairs have lower ones. When you rock back, it's nice because you can lock it down here, or you can go up and down just like a normal chair. To me, this is gonna save my back. Now, I talked about this before, and how my butt always goes numb in all of my office chairs. What's nice about this, it has kinda like that memory foam type seating, to where it seems a little hard, but when you sit in, it just conforms to your body. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. I love how it does that. Uh, so I don't have any sort of tingling sensation all day. My back doesn't hurt unless I'm, I don't have good posture and I can put it up straight. It's got a headrest, it's got the backrest. There's so many wonderful things about this chair. I know, to B, you're gonna go into more details for this. So I'm gonna give it back to you. I highly recommend this. I know the price point's a little high when you think about this, but gaming chairs in general are pretty expensive. This is an exceedingly well-made chair. The stitching is perfect. I don't see it ever coming out, and uh, things are just wonderful on this. So yeah, I highly recommend it, but I'd love to hear your thoughts, be on what you think. Thanks, Dan. Now let's go over some of the things that I do like about the chair. So the first thing I really like about the chair is the size of it overall. It's a very beautiful, clean looking design. So they have so many different designs for their chairs. For a racing type of gaming chair design, this is one of the cleaner ones. The electric blue is really nice on here. Quality of the materials is pretty decent as well. It's kind of this fake pleather um, design here with the nice stitching on the E1 signature here. Kind of firm all the way through. The cushion itself is a little bit dense, um, but it's firm, but it's very soft to the touch when you're sitting on it. So it's firm right now. I don't know how long it's gonna last in terms of, uh, you know, imprinting a permanent butt in this area, but you know, there's, Dan was saying, a little bit of a mummery foam seat, but the material does feel nice on here. What I also really like are the uh, armchair there's actually four different ways you can adjust this armrest here. So it can go side to side. This button here moves it back and forward. This inner button here moves it from side to side. And then also you have this armrest. You can move this up and down. So there's four different ways to be able to adjust this, which is really nice. It's super big and comfy. Uh, last thing about the materials, you have some aluminum wheels down here, which have some nice quality. I've seen some other chairs have a plastic wheelbase as well. Um, so that's really nice to see here that this is aluminum. So you do feel like you're getting some good quality parts in this design as well. Got some nice features um, as well to be able to adjust the height of the chair, moving it up and down on this side here, as well as pulling it back and making it stable. So the features and the materials itself are pretty decent. Um, I think it's pretty good for the price point in terms of the um, you know, the size of this chair. Um, I don't know about the other lower price points if they use the same quality of materials and things. I'd hope that they would between all the different chair designs, but those are the things that I do like about the chair. Now it does come with this optional kind of headrest support here, which you can strap around this backside, as well as a lumbar support that has these uh, long straps there that you can see that you can also lap. Uh, you know, the only thing that I would say is the implementation of these. It looked a little bit goofy with the straps fully put onto the side here. So that's the only thing. The headrest, you could either put it here or you could strap it up in here. I do like the way that the Andesite has a magnetic headrest that attaches. That's probably my favorite feature of the Andesite. Um, so from a headrest standpoint and options, that one definitely uh, wins. But the E11 is pretty decent. They're pretty firm and it's nice that they actually come as an optional support for your head and your lumbar back. So final thoughts about this Ewin gaming chair. For me, there's a lot of good things about this in terms of the build quality materials compared to the other chairs that I've seen. Um, the only cons I would say are the implementation of the lumbar support as well as the headrest with the straps. I think it's a little bit outdated um, because the way that it attaches, eventually it can uh, you know, get elasticy and saggy and it looks a little bit funky. So I wish they would have done something more innovative like the magnetic design on the Andesite. But other than that, I would say this is a pretty decent gaming chair chair you just got to check the price point this particular chair is a little over $400 but you can save up to 20% using a discount code KRU which is a link in the description so go ahead and use that discount code if you're interested in this or any of the other gaming chairs from eWin so thank you so much Stella for sending for, for review and uh, I hope Dan enjoys this chair because it's gonna go back to him and uh, he can enjoy it in his basement with his son as well as his arcade so thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time bye